Welcome back to Game of Galapagos. I'm your host, Pia, and we're back in dreams. Can you hear that? Every time I jump, a noise happens. Okay. Ooh. Let's go down here. So what do you think all these dreams are about? <clears throat> well, there are a couple of theories on that. Some people think that this isn't actually any dreams at all. This is May doing something called astral projection into the town. And this is what the town looks like in the spirit world. And that the creatures that we're going to see are part of that. And they might be like, you know, the gods of that world. It's interesting stuff. Uh, I myself don't have any idea what it could all possibly mean, but hey, I found a tuba with a bear. Light in the way. anything up oh. we've now got this guy can't go any further we got one last thing we got one last musician Oof. so why are these musicians so important that's my question What's so important about a bunch of people playing music? Are they like the bards of uh, the creatures of old? What are they? What's it mean? in order to end this dream. Huh. Other people think that these dreams might be, um, you know, a symbol of May, like, searching for, for, uh, for something, like, uh, the musicians probably stand for, uh, what she's like searching for and uh, you know like a sense of like belonging or to like make sense of the world orchestrate what makes sense 
uh, and the monsters there are like, I guess, our major fears. But I like... I like the astral projection and that those might be the gods of the, of the town. I think that sounds a little bit, uh, I think that makes a little bit more sense. Because, uh, if you notice the themes of the game, a lot of it's, like, involving, like, um, uh, is there, like, a higher power, and, uh, what it means to be an adult, where can you find your place in the world? Hey, what do you got? Home Dome! Mortgage got you down? New app allows you to rent out your bathroom as a public toilet! That sounds like a terrible idea! Hey. Got a call from Miss Miranda. Apparently she's upset we mess up her basement. Whatever. She didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just saying if you want to say hello. I'm here to be helloed at. Hey, boyo! At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap, Falcon, more like it. <laughs> I agree, Sharkle. So. I'm going to talk to both of them, and, uh... Hmm. I don't know if we'll have time to really talk to all of them. You can very easily speed run through this game. Um... Still all here. Damn it. Ugh. Man, why aren't you strong? If you're strong enough to beat the crap out of things, why aren't you strong enough to move this stuff out of the way? Ugh. Well, you know what? I'm also very strong to wreck things, and I can't move heavy boxes. Ugh. I wonder if you can learn to talk to birds. I don't know, Bay. Be very interesting if you could. Oh, mom does not look happy. Ooh. Morning, long night. Yeah, I went to work with B. Oh, are you going to work there? No, mom, it, I was just tagging along. Though, I was like really useful. Hmm. It was new and exciting feeling. Mm hmm. You okay? Yeah. Just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm. Have a nice day. Numbers, numbers, numbers. I don't know. Oh. Speaking of moms, my mom recently is in trouble because she has high blood pressure. So this uh, Thanksgiving, we're cutting the number of salt and everything. And, you know, I'm worried about her. I think anyone would be. Oh, I had a grandfather who, uh, well, not a grandfather, like, more like a great-grandfather uh, on my mother's side, who also had high blood pressure. And the doctor told him, look, if you keep eating food with salt, you're, you're gonna die of a heart attack. And you know what that guy said? Okay. Didn't change his diet, didn't change anything. Died of a heart attack. <laughs> ah. Stubborn man. Mm. Totally what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Not bleeding out of your seat in junior high? Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself? Not seriously injuring someone your, during your first kiss at senior prom? Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack things. We used to eat 
that we used to eat in grade school. Oh, right, I remember those. Those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Want to hear another poem? Sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent, a juice box, and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all the things I want right now. You made them sound so real. I could taste the automatic dino snacks, atomic di dino snacks, and the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazokov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right on this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. Seen a fire up there by the other night. I wonder who was up there. I wonder that too. But you know what else I'm wondering? You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. We're gonna look at some dawn stars. Hey! I don't know that person. That's a new person. Let's talk to them. Later. We got dawn stars. We're already up here and it's already hard enough to get up here. Ma! Ma! Hey. Maybrowski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come to hunt some dusk stars. Definitely. Come have a look. <gasps> oh my god, my eyes! Filter! Uh. Looking around for some dusk stars. Looking around to. Oh! There it is. Boom! Found one. Let's see. Oh, this one. Ah, yes, Simone the Fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land. But under every good land, there are the roots of oppression. S speak it, man. And in this land, and in this land, those roots took hold and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Ch Chaskov. Jeez. It happens faster than one can imagine. Anyway. When the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded every capture, even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Was she? That's a lot of pressure for one person. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part of a growing organism. But she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of the many things. So sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important. Like numbers. We do not know where Simone is buried. I, could I knew there wasn't. this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led the charge against the palace gates. And behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mass caves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others. It was said that she now lives on in the bones of all her country. Jeez, I got dark, sad, and spooky. <laughs> that is history. Poor Simone. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes! Here it is. Found one, found one. Let's look. Oh, this one. Sterling the Sia. How come I've never heard of these guys? Yeah. By the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known missing legends are taken. Oh. 
this one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. These are all going to be bummers, huh? That is not for me to say. Is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer. She showed him, she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in a regular pattern and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters. For the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those to care for those whose labels, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? It's how life is. So you believe that some should go hungry and without homes because they are no longer useful to those in power. Well, jeez, Mr. Chakov, Chazakov, when you put it that way. <laughs> the stars, they make one think. That's both of them for today. Nito. Wow, that was pretty great. Come back again in a couple days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs> Are you an astrologer or something? The word is astronomer, but I am but an amateur. You know a lot for someone who isn't paid to know about it. That is one of the saddest sentences I have ever heard. Sorry? Come back in a couple days and we'll cram some stars into that head of yours. Will do. Uh, Sterling, Simone. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully she's still there. Yeah, she's still there! Hey, you thieving kids! Hey, why can't we talk? I want to talk to you. You look so pretty and lovely. Okay, fine. She didn't want to talk, guys. I'm sad. Is there anything new here? Why can't I? Ah. Eh. <sighs> Guess that's how life is. Big raccoon. What do you guys want to do? Could go up to the church again and see what's going on. Ah! Should we just cover ground first? episode off right here today. The scene is important. I think this is the fate of Bruce that we're talking about here. I'll see you guys later. Have a good and blessed day. Mm. Sorry, I yawned. Mm. Bye.